Before we start, you guys, I just want to go ahead and give you guys a spoiler alert. Um, T.D. Jakes does seem to be okay. Uh, he was responsive. He even came back out and gave a speech, letting everybody know that he was all right. He is going to go to the doctor for more testing, but I feel like this is a larger conversation. So definitely go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be right back after the intro, you guys. If I can, every time I have trouble trying to find the intro to even play it, y'all, what is going on? I'm messing up. Sorry, y'all. Here we go. How you doing? What's up, AT2 and crew? How y'all doing? Good, good. Thank you for coming up. I just had a few questions because I'm yes. confused what that ceremony was with Sarah Jakes when he said, don't drop the mic and he w walked off. What was that? You know what? I don't have the full details on it, so I don't want to misspeak on it, but I do know that he was uh, transferring some of the um, events and things over to, to Sarah. Oh. Uh, like some of the woman that are loose events, some of those things he was transferring over to her. Um, he was uh, basically trying to like, give that mantle to her, some of the things that she was doing. I don't know if he's fully turned over the entire uh, ministry to her, like Bishop Ivy Hillier actually turned over his ministry to his daughter, but I'm not sure if Bishop T.D. Jakes did that, but I know part of it he was turning over to uh, the daughter. Oh, so it was like partial because all that crying and sweating they was doing, I'm thinking like that's it, that was it. <laughs> But it, it's a big, thing, it's a big thing because it, you, know, you know I love you, AT2. You know I love you. <laughs> you know I love you. Uh, but did, were you aware? Were you aware, AT2, that he just got back from Zimbabwe? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, Bishop TD Jakes just got back yesterday from oh. from Zimbabwe. Oh, yes, yeah. And I believe that it, it could be exertion. It could be, if you go to his Instagram mm -hmm. page, you'll see he was there with Bishop uh, Tudor Bismarck. He was mm. celebrating He was celebrating Bishop Tudor Bismarck's um, 50 years of ministry. Bishop Tudor Bismarck is a, is a big, you know, uh, pastor as well um, yeah. over there in Zimbabwe. And so Bishop T.D. Jakes was there with Bishop Tudor Bismarck um, celebrating and honoring him. And he, had, he was there for a little bit. I don't know how many days he was there, but he was there for a little bit. And then he just got back from my understanding yesterday. Mm. And so now he's preaching today. So it could be exertion. It could be an illness. He could have got there. We don't know, but we, we do know that Bishop T.D. Jakes, as you saw the video, I'm sure you saw the the video where he was sitting down and he asked the gentleman to come in and get the tithe out of his hand. And then he spoke to the congregation. Yeah. Um, so he, Bishop T.D. Jakes, when he does his, his services, he rarely sits down. You normally don't see him sitting down on his services. He always walks and preaches. Oh, that right. is true, huh? He right. always walks around. He always walks around. He, 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 he would rarely ever you see him sitting down in a chair addressing the congregation no, that's almost a rarity for him so when i saw that on one of the videos i said wait a minute this this is different for him and right. then i understood that it was the exertion now they did say that he had preached an hour service you know for that for today he had preached a whole hour service and then you know maybe he got the chair i wasn't able to get the full video but i did get the video where he was sitting in the chair and he asked one of the gentlemen to come and get his tithe and offering because he wanted to give his offering. He said, please come and get this envelope. Then he wiped his head with his towel. He turned mm -hmm. to the congregation. He started speaking to them. And then the collapse and the twitching of the arms and, and so forth, you know, took place. But if ever you see Bishop T.D. Jake sitting down preaching, it's a rarity for him. It's not something that he does. So, yeah, he was really uh, it, like, I wonder, did he know something was wrong? Like, is well, that why he decided to sit in the chair? Like, did he feel, because you know your body, right? Yeah, yeah. It could be possible. And and here's the thing, we all know our bodies. We all know when we get tired. We know when we, we overexert ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it could be that, you know, the lightheadedness could have been coming on, the dizziness could have been coming on. I don't know if he said these things, 
But as I said in the video, I did a video today on this. And what I said in my video, my brother had an episode. And when I watched TD Jakes, I saw the same or similar things that happened to my brother. When we were out of town, my brother was sitting in a chair and I heard him say, help, you know, help. And when I, by the time I walked over to him and I was only steps away, I walked over to him. I said, are you okay? And he couldn't speak to me anymore. He just oh sat God. there and he was just in a daze and the same thing with his arms. He just, you know, he's just, you know, the same thing with TD Jakes. And then I, oh. I like, I was like, Hey, are you okay? And then he went to lean. And when he went to lean, he was falling out the chair. The same thing that TD Jakes, if they wouldn't have got to TD Jakes when they did, he would have fell out that chair, just like right. Bishop Marvin Wine is it. So with my brother, he fell out the chair. We were able to get him on the, the floor. And I already knew you have to get them in their resting position, laying on their, their proper side so that, mm. you know, when the paramedics can come. But by the time the paramedic came, my brother was able to speak slightly and he was able to tell me he could not see. His vision was gone. His vision was impaired. So we okay. knew then that it had to do with his sugar being very low. So we immediately rushed him to the hospital. They were able to get the insulin in him. They were able to get him back, you know, in a healthy Good. place and his vision came back. But stuff like that, it's the timing of it. You must take care of those things fast enough because if you don't get someone who is dealing with a diabetic thing, and I'm not saying this is what T.D. Jakes is dealing with. I'm saying right. this is a scenario that happened with my brother and it's the similarities. And if we had not gotten him to the hospital in time, his vision could have been lost forever. Oh, wow. So the timing of this stuff is very, it's crucial in these type of situations. Now, exactly what happened to Bishop T.D. Jakes, I'm not sure. But the similarities are very, very, very. Yeah, similar. because I've seen people put diabetes, low blood sugar in the chat, a diabetic shock. I see yeah. that in the chat, but I don't know that for a fact if he does or not. Well, we don't know. We don't know for a fact okay. until until the information comes back. And here's the thing. Since he is a public figure right now, we may not ever get the full details of what really happened because he That's is a public true. figure and it's a medical thing. People can't put it out, you know, unless, you know, he puts it out. You don't want to get in trouble with, you know, trying to report somebody's illnesses and, you know, all that. Right, right, but, right. It's, it's not until he says something or he confirms it. Correct. with us. But do you think that he has an obligation to tell us what was wrong with him? I don't think he has an obligation, but I think mm -hmm. just like Marvin Winans did, Marvin Winans came and said, hey, I'm okay. Now, he never told us what really happened. He just simply said, I'm okay. I think that's the only real obligation that Bishop T.D. Jakes will be, you know, required mm -hmm. to do, is to physically tell us himself that he's okay when he's able to do that. And I believe that, you know, once he gets better, I am praying that he does get better and he'll be able to do that. I believe he will. Yes, definitely. Um, because as I understand, he came back out to the crowd. I showed a few pictures, but he came back out to the crowd and let them know like he was fine. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it does seem that he is doing better. Sure, because I didn't At least he's responsive. I'll say that he's responsive, not better, responsive, but they yeah. still have to go to the doctor and do testing. Okay. Um, one of my questions, because uh, I'm glad you clarified with the whole uh, pass it on the mic, don't drop it thing, because I was under the impression that was his retirement when they were crying and sweating. But I guess it was not. He was just passing well, on. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't have that. So I'm not sure if that was his retirement. I don't have that information oh. as well. It, it, it could be, okay. but I have not really seen it as, as clear. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, you know, I'm not saying right. that. I'm, but like Bishop Ivy Hilliard, he put it out there. I am not the pastor. It's on their website. She is the pastor. Mm. You know, his daughter. I don't recall seeing that on on uh, the Potter's House website that she is the senior pastor. She is the pastor. Oh. Now, now, I could have missed it. So anybody in the chat, if y'all saw it, y'all let me know. Hey, Robert. Yes, if anybody in the chat know, please let, let yeah, us know. Let's yeah. it up and see. Mm -hmm. But my thing was that, it, is it time for him to step down? This may be one of the indicators that he may want to really pay more attention to getting the rest. Mm -hmm. I'm in there and I'm actually on Bishop, uh, the Potter's House website right now. The pastoral staff say the senior pastor is Bishop T.D. Jakes. Mm. It does not say that his daughter is the senior pastor. It says okay. over here, um, his daughter, Sarah Jakes, is the assistant pastor at the Potter's House, the, the Potter's House in Dallas. 
she's the assistant pastor, but it says on okay. the website that he is still the senior pastor. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to research that after the show to try to find out, okay, what was that exactly? Keep Go ahead. I'm sorry, I'll cut you off. Also, what if, if he was to give over senior pastorship to his daughter, um, she would then become on the title as senior pastor. And then that would put him in a position where he would then can become the bishop uh, over her or apostle um, over her. But right now the church is just saying that he is the senior pastor because he right. already has the title of Bishop T.D. Jakes, but he's a senior pastor and they have her as assistant or associate. Right. So now that we know that he just had came back from um, Zimbabwe, wait, was it Zimbabwe? Yes, it was. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I got the, my African country <laughs> correct. And, you know, I tell everybody in Africa, I didn't want to disrespect the continent, the motherland. <laughs> but um, now knowing that he just got back, like, yeah. I just feel like he could have had his daughter take that spot, you know, and be like, hey, can you fill in? You know, I just got back. Like, what was the need for him being there? But, uh, you know, with me not understanding every the ins and outs of the church, can you just talk about a little bit how important it is for the pastor to be there, you know, when it comes like if they're sick or they have other obligations, like how important that is? Because it, for as a human, it, I just don't get it. Like if I can't make it, I just can't make it. But right. that pressure to still continue, can you just talk about that? A lot of members do that to their pastors. Their pastors are really weighted down by a lot of things in life, you know, health issues and all that kind of stuff. And it's not that the pastors don't want to take a break, but a lot of the past, the members, oftentimes memberships or, or member attendance is low when the pastors are not there. <clears throat> when the members are aware that the pastor is not going to be preaching that Sunday, a lot of them will not show up. And when they don't show up, their tithe and offering oftentimes don't show up as well. Ooh. So sometimes it's the members that push their pastors to be in that pulpit because they want to see them. They want to, you know, them to be preaching. Um, but and that's right. why a lot of pastors do the exertion or sometimes the pastors feel they don't have somebody else that can take their place. But this is Bishop T.D. Jakes. There's several other ministers that could have stepped on that pulpit today. Several. Right. Right. And I'm pretty sure, say, if the Titans were kind of low this weekend, I don't think it would hurt him necessarily. I, I, I don't believe that. Um, but someone put in the chat that um, Sarah and her husband are over the L.A. Um, Potter's house. That's Ooh. what it is. Now you can go. Now they're all umbrellas. They're all okay. umbrellas of the of the, the Potter's house. Like there's a pastor, uh, Patrick E. Winfield II. He's the pastor mm -hmm. of the Fort Worth Potter's House. And then Cheryl Brady is the pastor of the North Dallas Potter's House. And mm -hmm. then Tori and Sarah Jakes are the associate pastors of the uh, house, the Potter's House Dallas, uh, one LA. That's what they call it. So they're all okay. umbrellas. Got it. So they're all different umbrellas of the Potter South. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how it kind of works. Mm -hmm. um, do churches usually work like that? Like it's a network under yeah. one umbrella? Oh, okay. That's common. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And by the way, thank you, Denitra. Let's, yes. Let's make sure to get those likes up as well, too. Um, so, Juice, I have another question. When it comes to um td jakes in the spot that he's in um because i already asked do you think he should slow down and stuff like that we know that but um as far as do you think he could walk away because now when you mention the thing about the money and everything like that could he walk away i mean i know he'll be fine but the potter's house will it be fine and that could have added to the pressure of why he then it's a lot of pressure, right? It is. And 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 here's the thing. Bishop T.D. Jakes has been doing this for an extremely long time. It would be very hard for him to walk away. But being that something like this traumatic happened to him, it may help him to consider walking away from right now and then coming back occasionally to do some guest appearances or something like that to show some support or stuff like right. that. Bishop T.D. Jakes has been on the go, 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 since he was back in the hills of West Virginia. And he's up there mm. in age now, you guys. So he does need to try and, and, and step away. Will he? That's going to be dependent upon him and 
Who else has a, a large amount to say about that? Sarita Jakes. Because mm. Sarita, Jakes, Sarita Jakes has been having health issues herself as well. And Bishop T.D. Jakes had to be there to support her when she was having some physical problems. And now she's, of course, having to support him. And we don't know the things that may have been happening in a household that we weren't aware of. So Sarita, as the wife, is going to have a lot to say right now with Bishop T.D. Jakes and should he sit down. Now, I'll go back again to Bishop Ivy Hilliard. Ivy Hilliard turned his whole entire church over to his daughter. Yet he's still, right. he's, he's still preaching. He preaches sometimes more than she does. <laughs> so it's really in, it's really in the, the person. It's going to be up, up to Bishop T.D. Jakes to determine if he can rest and can he turn it over. And again, like you said, uh, uh, you know, AT2, it may hurt the financial part of it. There may be mm -hmm. a lot of people that may, you know, step away and take their, their tithing offering. It may lower some of the memberships. It, 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 it happens. But you have to also consider your health and what's beneficial for you and your future. Because a lot of pastors have passed away because of being on that pulpit longer than they should have. Right, right. Um, I, I think also something else that I have been seeing around, and again, nothing has been, uh, no one has been charged or went to jail, but a lot of people are contributing his health to all the controversies within the last year. I think that could play a role, but I don't necessarily think in this case. I think it, it's literally just his health and him not slowing down. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? Well, even when I did my video today, there are a lot of people in the comments talking about the Diddy situation. And everyone has a right to their opinion. That's one thing about living in the United States of America. You can voice your opinion. Is your opinion fact? It may not be. But we all have freedom to speak. So I do understand that people may try and put the two together. Um, but the only way I can see that that would have anything to do with the health issue is if he was stressing over it. I don't believe that Bishop T.D. Jakes was stressing over the Diddy situation. I don't believe he was stressing as much as people think he was stressing. I think more people were putting more emphasis on it than maybe he was. But in situations and times and stuff, when stuff like this happens to individuals, especially AT2, let me just tell you a secret if you didn't already know. Mm. It may not be the people outside of the church saying, well, that's what happened or that's good. What happened to him because he was he did this. It's usually the people in the church that say stuff like that. Ooh. It's usually the people that are Ooh. in the church that says, oh, maybe he did have this stroke because of this whole Diddy situation. So a lot of people are looking at the outside saying, I would not be surprised that it's it's more people inside the church building that are saying this very thing. But as far as my thought pertaining to Bishop T.D. Jakes and this whole Diddy situation, I don't think this stress was part of it. But what? if it was, you know, he's still going to have to take care of his health. I said this even on my video today. Y'all, if people were saying the same things about y'all, how would y'all stress levels be? Right. You know? <laughs> I, I know that for a fact. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Juice, thank you so much for coming up. I really appreciate you. I'm probably going to end the show after um, you drop. I, I just want to, because I feel like we need this. Can you yeah. pray for us? I sure can. You know, that's my thing. I love that. And thank you for even inviting me to do that, AT2. You know I love you. Yeah, you know. I, I just feel like we need it. At least, at least for me, I need it. I know. Listen, we're praying AT2. You know, he'll laugh later, you guys, but he's serious when he says pray, y'all. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm serious. No, serious. I need it. Let's go ahead and let's pray. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord God. We don't go to nor the God, but we come to you, Lord God. We come directly to your throne, Father. Today, Father God, we take the opportunity, Lord God, to bring your presence, Father God, again to AT2's channel, Lord God. We pray right now for Bishop T.D. Jakes and his health, Father God. We pray for Sarita, Father God. We pray for his brothers, his sisters, Father God. We pray for the children, Lord God. We pray for every member, Father God, that was there that witnessed this whole thing, Father God. Let them, Father God, have peace, Father God, even in their mindsets, Father God. Those, Father God, that probably were disturbed because of what happened today, Lord God. Whatever the situation that's going on with Bishop T.D. Jakes, Father God, let him be well in it, Lord. And let him, Father God, return to tell others, Father God, of what they can do to prevent 
this same thing from happening to them, Lord God. Let this be a life lesson, Father God, that he can share from that very same pulpit that he can share with others, Lord God. Let us all get our health in check, Lord God. Let us get our minds in check, Lord God. Let us, Father God, continue to be loving and kind to one another, Lord. And let us always look up to you, Lord. Let us not question you, Lord God, but let us always look up to you for the answers, Father God. And let us all maintain mindsets of righteousness and love. And we ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Bless AT2. Amen. All right, AT2. Uh, Thank you. Y'all are amazing. I love y'all. Thank y'all so very much. Yes, and I went ahead and pinned your link up at the top. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow Ju. She is awesome, you guys. You'll love Thank her. You. Thank you. All right. Have you. a good one. Thank you. Oh, man, I needed that. I don't know if anybody else needed it, but I needed it. And I just wanted a great way to end the show. Definitely, no matter what you guys think or believe about T.D. Jakes, uh, prayers for him. Because, you know, we don't want to see someone who is so strong and someone who we see all the time, like, break down like that. Um, you know, and... <laughs> Luckily, everything is fine. He'll be all right. Well, hopefully he'll be all right. But, you know, he is responsive. He was able to come back out to the crowd after, you know, having a medical emergency. Uh, he does the test. He, you know, he does the testing, make sure that he's OK. So, um, you know, prayers for him, you know, uh, definitely. And also shout out to Juice for coming up. I appreciate you. Um, this is just going to be a short show, you guys. I just kind of wanted to update you guys on what was going on with TD Jakes. I love y'all. Be safe. Love one another. But we out of here, y'all. Deuces.